is a silent partner that arrives with one's first child. Every mother is acquainted. Worry. When one is young, one prays. When one becomes a mother, one burns the midnight oil. You know what I speak of. My back, my hip, gifts from my first child. Mary was such an easy child. And then she met this quiet carpenter, nice enough young man, though her father and I worried if he could provide. That soon became the least of our worries. She came to me quietly one morning, talking of angels and God and trying to explain this child that she'd conceived. Mind you, every Jewish girl's dream is to be the chosen, to give birth to the one. Yet I could hardly bear to listen. It's one thing to conceive out of wedlock, but this story? How could she lie to her own mother? What have you done? What have you done? I said over and over to her. I screamed it. Words that haunt me every day. This, this is how I greeted the long-awaited Messiah of our people. But once I understood, once I believed, an ecstasy spilled out of me. Had it been there all this time? I was to be the grandmother of the Messiah? I don't know what I thought would have happened after that. Perhaps a more subtle birth plan for a king and his mother. Not a week's long journey atop a donkey, nor a frigid night under the stars. Certainly not a feeding trough for a cradle. But what do I know? I know this. The very first question I asked my sweet Mary is what have you done? Such a useless question. What I should have said is let's see what God can do. Yes, indeed. Look what God has done.